Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kari and today I will give you some reasons on why you should read and watch the truth about the Harry Kibbert affair. I wanted to make this video for so long and it's finally here, it's finally happening because this story deserves a lot of recognition. I know it is a popular story, the book is more popular than the TV show, but I think both deserve a lot more than what they've got. And I've gotta say that this is one of the times in which the adaptation of the book is amazing. It really takes the story to a different level, so I think either if you start reading the book and then watching the TV show, you'll have a great time, and if you watch the TV show first, I think you will decide to read the book after so either way you want to know the story it's great first i tell you what's the story about we have our protagonist marcus who is a writer and he is now stuck because he cannot write another story so he goes and seeks help from his former teacher harry Kibbert, to help him with this writer's blog and harry Kibbert lives in this small town and when marcus arrives he gets caught up in this murder investigation of a 15 year old girl and it is believed that Harry Kibbert did it because the body of the girl was found in Harry Kibbert's backyard. I think for starters that's a very interesting premise, that's what really drew me in to read it and that's why I think you should read it too. Now reason number one, it is a fast-paced mystery thriller. The book is very quick to read and the story is very interesting because apart from the premise, you've got many twists and turns that will shock you and will make you want to read more just to know what really happened. You can stop reading or watching because the story is that addictive, really, that happened to me in both the book and the TV show. You always have questions and when they give you some answers, they also give you more questions and it is amazing. Reason number two, realistic characters with very human problems. All the characters are interesting and they have an evolution throughout the story. The relationships that they form and the interactions that they have are very believable. You get to see many faces of the characters, like when they are happy, when they are angry, when they are sad. And I really love that human side of the story. Reason number three, a great setting and a great writing style. You actually can visualize the story. You can visualize where they're walking or the small town, the houses, the beach. All the scenes really come to life in the book and that's thanks to the writing style. And that is the same feeling that I got from the TV show. Obviously in the TV show you can actually see the things, but you got that feeling of a summer story, of a summer love, of a writer's life and of friendship, but also the many bad things that were happening, you could also feel them. Like the fear or the intrigue and the betrayal, those were also emotions that you could see represented either in the screen or reading it, so it was amazing. Reason number four, writing advice and great quotes. This book is about writers. Marcus is a writer, Harry Kibbert was a writer, and Harry Kibbert is this figure that gives Marcus a lot of writing advice. You get that writing advice through Harry Kibbert, and it is so great that you are getting it from a character, but it feels like the character is giving advice to you exactly, not to Marcus, to you and I just love that feeling. It has many beautiful quotes as well, well that connects with the writing style, but quotes on writing and why writers love to write. It is basically a tribute to writers and writers life and I just find that very interesting and fascinating. Reason number five, it is a story in different timelines. First we have what happens when Marcus is discovering all the investigation, then we have the past, when we get to see the story of Harry Kebert and Nola, which is the 15 year old girl and what happened at that time. And then you have the future, well you can say that that is the present and both of the other timelines are past when Marcus is talking about what he discovered. He already knows everything that happened and he has written the book that he is struggling to write in this first timeline. I hope that wasn't confusing. I really think that is a great way to present this story and it's so wonderful and so interesting because we change from timeline to timeline. You are always wondering what's going on. The last reason is more for the readers, the ones that are going to read the book before watching the TV show, and it is that it has a great TV adaptation. Truly, I think it is one of the best adapted stories that I've seen from book to TV. So as I said before, either if you watch it first and then read the book, or read the book first and then watch it, it will be an amazing experience. 
Netflix. I really hope you do read this book and watch the TV show because it deserves more recognition than what it has and I will never shut up about it. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content about movies, TV shows and books every week. You can click here to subscribe to my channel. You can watch more of my videos here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.